Hello everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. Today's video that I'm going to do for you is of Priscilla Presley on her wedding day. Loads of people have asked for it, so it's a very 60s look. Um, I hope you enjoy it. So to start off with, I've already moisturised my skin. I'm going to use Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. Pop a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and just buff that into the skin. She would have probably worn a slightly heavier foundation, but um, I feel like in a lot of our videos we've been using the um, slightly stronger foundations at the moment, so I wanted to use a, a, one that was a little bit less, just so you can see the coverage of it. Also, I know this foundation photos well. I'm then going to add a little bit of concealer, and I have got Clinique line smoothing concealer and this one's in 02 I'm going to pop that under my eyes around my nose and then take a real technique brush and it doesn't matter if it goes down onto my cheeks as I'm concealing it because it will just get rid of that redness a tiny bit Once the base is done, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I have got an Urban Decay Primer. This one is Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm actually going to pop it on the back of my hand. Because I don't really love these ones they come with. I think they're the trickiest thing to use. Pop it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my finger to push that over the eyelid. Now, you can't really see what colour she's using, so I'm going to go for the classic colours. It's more about the liner anyway. And in the shots, it looks like, um, in the pictures that I've looked up, it looks like she's got loads of black liner on. I actually don't think she has. I think she's just got really full lashes on. So, I'm going to take myself a MAC 217, and I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Brulee, which is this one here. I'm going to pop that all over my eyelid. It looks pretty matte, the colours that she's used. Pop that all over as the base. I'm then going to take the lighter colour in there, which is this one here, which I think is vanilla. Just run that softly through the brow bone. I'm then going to take a little bit of wedge and I'm going to take a Louise Young brush, which I can't remember what it's called, I'll have to put it in the description box, and just look back and just run that really gently through the socket. Then for black liquid liner, I'm going to use MAC Black Tracks. So I'm just going to run that pretty straight. Along the eye. But reasonably thick as well, she goes. And also, she extends it, extended it just here. I'm just swapping my brush for a Maggie Hunt's brush. This one's number eight. It's just slightly thinner and pointier. I just want to get right in there with it. What she tended to do is actually bring it out on the bottom as well. So, I'm going to get the liner and just. run it out on the bottom too. 
know, it's also quite thick, the bottom liner. And it only went to about there and then stopped. Back to my Louise Young brush to get the line. Now I've gone a little bit thicker with the black purely because the lashes are going to sit in between so it won't look as thick as this. Once the lashes are on it's going to take away a little bit of the definition. And then the underneath of the other one, back to the Maggie Hunt brush, draw that line first and then run that along. I'm then going to take a little bit of Makeup Forever. This one is Lip Liner Concealer. And I'm going to run that just inside the eye. And then a little bit of Ico Curvy Lash Mascara. And run that on the bottom. Also on the top lashes. And I also think I can get away with a little bit darker just in the crease of the eye. So I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm going to take a little bit of symmetry and the same Louise Young brush and I'm going to just go a little bit deeper through here her brows are really drawn in or really dark I have got um, a Clinique brow pencil and this one is in 03 deep brown And I'm going to draw the brows in, quite rounded. That bit was quite rounded, this front part. That was the kind of shape of them. I'm then going to take my eyebrow palette and I'm going to use a little bit of brun, which is this one here. Because they're almost like a solid brow. Her hair was obviously much darker than mine. 
so the brows would suit a little bit more. I'm then going to go back to the liner and I'm going to take a little bit of the black tracks and my Louise Young brush and I just want to line the top water line. Just to make that a little bit more solid. Now a lot of people have said when you uh, line the top line you'll, it always comes down here and you can see I've got a tiny bit here. Just get a Q-tip and give it a little rub over and then that water line, the uh, black will dry and then it shouldn't transfer too much again. Now for the lashes, she's got really big full lashes on. I have gone for these Amazing Shine Eyelash. These were £1.99 from a little shop around the corner from here and Sam and I saw them and they're real hair so we were like oh let's get some of those One ninety nine. you can't really go wrong can you a little bit of lash glue on the back leave it to dry a little and then place them into place These ones are number 43, by the way. Now I'm also going to um, run the mascara through the lashes too, because I want they're really full on her lashes. So just to blend mine with them, really. Hers may have even been thicker still. And I can't believe I get married in about... 10 days. Ah! Scary stuff. Exciting, but scary. I just don't want to do the walk in front of everyone, because I will cry. I'm very nervous about that bit. Okay, back to makeup. Enough about me. Back to the skin. If I need a little bit more concealer, I'm going to just pop a little bit on the back of my hand. Any areas that need a tiny bit more coverage. You can't really tell the coverage that she had because a lot of the pictures are black and white, so I can't really tell. I'm going to run a tiny bit under my eyes. Then to powder, I have got a little bit of Chanel powder. This one is in 20 Claire Translucent Powder. Really nice Real Techniques brush. This one is multitask brush. Push it into the skin so it doesn't move the makeup. And then a little bit of MAC Harmony just through the back of the cheekbone. And like I said, I can't really tell what colour she's got on her skin, but I am going to add a little bit of highlighter. This is um, Compact Shine On by Makeup Forever, and this one is in shade 4. Use the same brush. Just run it through the top of the cheekbone. Down the nose. tiny bit through the brow bone. Now lips. The lips were really dark liner with not such a dark lipstick and the one picture that I found that was colour it was kind of an orangey tone so I've gone for MAC Chicory 
her lips weren't too dissimilar shape to mine actually. So outline the lips and I'm going to go inside the lips with a little bit of Too Faced, this one is in Totally Nude. And it is totally nude. I'm going to just blot that down a tiny bit. And then go back in with the liner. And I think that is about it for the look. Quite full on, but really pretty. Uh, so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed that and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.